Hi guys, we just had a big leak with the new operator's names and unique abilities. In this video, I will not go into full detail of every operator, instead I will give you a quick rundown of the new operator's abilities are and also how this will affect the meta of the game. What will happen to the pace of the game, what operators will see the role grow and what operators will lose the most on the release of these new operators. So, first off, if we look at the operators. These images was leaked but they are not confirmed in any way, so we are not 100% sure this is the real deal. But at the same time, the artwork looks exactly like Ubisoft and the gadgets match the data that was earlier stripped from the technical test servers and they also partially match the official teaser movie that was released last week. The first operator is a defensive Hong Kong operator and his name is Li Shen. His special ability, as you see, is a cloaked toxic mine that injects a compound which injures opponents and limits their speed. Then we have Jing, the new Hong Kong attacker. Her special ability is a cluster of flash charge that can either be anchored to the surface or rolled at as a grenade. Then the third new operator is Ella, the Polish defender. Her special ability is a concussion proximity mine that can be anchored on surface impairing hearing and causing a dissing effect. We still don't know what speed and armor ratings these operators will have, but just by looking at them and how much armor they are wearing, I would expect Ella to be a 3 speed 1 armor, Li Shen to be a 2 speed 2 armor and Jing a 1 speed 3 armor operator. But this is just a pure guess for me on how much armor they are wearing. So to the important part, how will this affect the meta of the game? What was Ubisoft's purpose of these new operators? Well, I see a clear purpose from Ubisoft here. They wanted to slow down the pace. I think they feel that the game is getting to a more run and gun fast paced shooter with fast attackers such as Ash, Hibana and Twitch being very common picks and defenders like Jaeger, Kavera and Badit on the defensive side hunting them. I also feel like they all the time want the traps to be a big part of this game but just never really get it to work. You have a cap can from the start, but his traps are absolutely useless. Then you have the DLC operator Frost with her welcome mats. They're a bit more useful, but still pretty simple to just shoot away when you roll through a window. Then you also had Echo who was released back in November. He don't have a trap, so to say, but his whole job is to slow down the attackers with his drone. But if you look at his pick rates, he don't have a big impact on the game since not a lot of players use him. But that's not to say that he is useless, on some objective it's very powerful to have an echo drone, but I still feel that Ubisoft really want traps to be a bigger part of this game and to slow down the meta. Both defenders have traps in the form of Lesion's cloaked toxic mines and Ella's concussion mines. This will be very useful against fast operators like Ash or people trying to rush the objective. Also, if you look at the four last DLC defenders, they all in some way have been targeting to spotting attackers or to make them feel unsafe away from the objective. Mira, Valkyrie and Echo all give the defenders a way to see what the attackers are doing and Kavira lurking will always keep them on their toes. That got the attackers to rush more and to play at a higher pace. Now I feel like Ubisoft wants to slow down that pace again. Also I think operators like IQ, Twitch and Thatcher will see higher pick rates as IQ most likely will be able to spot the mines, Twitch can destroy them with a drone and Thatcher can also disable them with his EMP if you throw them at spots where you know they usually are. It will also be interesting to see how the cloaked mines works and also Ella's mines. That makes all the difference of how they impact the game. How visible are them, how hard is it to, to take them out. For example Capcan's traps are useless since they are so easy to spot. Another thing here is the time pressures that the attackers will have on them. Both of these mines will slow you down, but not kill you. So if you're an attacker, you can't really wait for the last 15 to 20 seconds before you make your push. Because if you, for example, step into an Ella's concussion mine, then you will lose a round. So I think with the new meta, you will see earlier, but also more careful pushes from the attackers. The new attacker then? Well, it's very hard to say from this. We already have flashbangs, so it will be interesting to see just how the cluster of flash charges work. As of now, it's pretty easy to look away when a flash comes your way. But how will these new ones work? Will they just fill the room so any anchor inside will be flashed? Or maybe just like Fuse, you can pre-mount it on a wall, move away to another place of the map, press the button, flash the room and then enter through another door. Depending on how strong the flashbangs are and how they work, 
We will see if this operator will be a good pick or not. But my guess is, it will be pretty strong at the beginning, and then after everybody says she's the best and people buy her, she will get a nerf. But if she is powerful, it will be much harder for defenders to anchor on sight, and tactics like opening up and playing the objective from above or from another room next to it will be much more useful. And also I think you will see more roamers, for example Ella who looks like a free speed with her concussion mines. You just go to a place where you know attackers usually come when they're entering the building or when they're trying to get flanked, set down the mine, wait for them to get into it and then when they're concussed you just shoot them. So I think we will see more roaming and more defending objective from outside the objective with this new meta. If you enjoyed this video I will be very happy if you can leave a like and also subscribe if you don't already do. I will be back this weekend with a new pro tips video. See you then.